My name is Tyler and I'm an elementary education major here at Clemson. And we're going to be talking about hearing aids and cochlear implants today and how they help deaf or hearing impaired children in the classroom. According to the ASHA, roughly 10% of the population is affected by hearing impairments. According to the IDA, about 1.2% of school age children are treated in a special ed classroom for hearing impairments. It was believed for the longest time that deaf people could not hear any noise at all, but it has been discovered that hearing loss can occur in diff many different patterns and degrees and that all deaf people have some sort of residual hearing. This is how it's possible for hearing aids to work. For the people who do not know what a hearing aid is, it is simply just an amplification device that makes sounds louder. When the hearing aids first came out, all they did was make the noise louder, which was not very effective for deaf children. More modern hearing aids can have the frequencies changed and can be modified for each individual child to help them hear better. There are many different ways that a hearing aid can be worn and there are many different types, but no matter which type of hearing aid you have, they all do the same thing. What they do is they take the noise that comes through the small microphone and it increases the sound into the middle ear through the amplifier. And they all have the control so you can change the volume. Hearing aids have been around for hundreds of years when they first started out as ear horns. Through technology, we've improved on the basic idea and created analog hearing aids and we have what is called digital hearing aids now. Digital hearing aids are more expensive than analog hearing aids, but they are more easily programmed and can more effectively distinguish voice from just noise. The earlier in a child's life to be fitted for a hearing aid is better because this will get the child more comfortable with sounds and will increase the hearing of communication. The most effective way to use a hearing aid is to keep it in all times during the way. It is less effective if you take it in and out. Many children with hearing disabilities in preschool have been fitted for hearing aids at a young age so that speech and language development will be able to increase. One of the few downfalls of hearing aids in a classroom is that classrooms are usually noisy. It's hard for deaf students to signal in on the speaker when there's a lot of background noise. Up until the development of hearing aids, it was difficult for the students with hearing impairments to be able to function in a general classroom. But thanks to hearing aids, it is making it possible for deaf children to be incorporated into the general curriculum. An alternative to hearing aids is called a cochlear implant. Though the cochlear implant does not enhance the noise to the ear like hearing aids, but instead it goes straight to the auditory nerve. This implant requires surgery and where the doctor places in a receiver or stimulator in the person's head and has it attached to the auditory nerve. There are four basic parts of the cochlear implant, which is the microphone which takes in the noise and goes on the outside of the ear, a speech processor which arranges the sounds, a transmitter and a receiver which receives signals from the speech processor and sends them to the auditory nerve via electrodes. These implants do not restore or create normal hearing for whoever has them, but it does give the deaf person a useful auditory understanding of the environment and helps them understand speech. Along with post-implant therapy, the child or person can develop speech and language development and maybe even develop better socially. Like hearing aids, it's better for the young for this to be done when you're younger because you're more accustomed to the noise in the environment, which will help you speed up the speech and language development. With this complex procedure, there comes major controversy. Many people believe that it's not right to have this done, and many, people, many deaf people do not agree with it because they say it's creating genocide to the deaf culture. Many deaf people do not see it being deaf as a disability, but they believe that if you've never heard before, then hearing impairment is no loss. Thank you.